Hello everybody and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Uh, we left off with Connor killing a deviant and the deviant, another deviant, killing herself. We were also Marcus and we stole a bunch of blue blood and bio components for Jericho. Now we're Kara with uh, Luther and Alice. i surprised I remember these names. Is it driving itself? Oh it is, oh my god. This is what it's like inside the car. I'm bad in the public side. Is that all I can do? Check on Alice. She seems okay. Don't worry, Alice, as long as we're safe. Ooh. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids that were captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Detroit's heavy snow. Or just another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. But those like who killed them. Okay. Let's turn this off so we can talk. A car? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Well, someone is now. Oh shit. Of course. This doesn't look good. No, it does not. That's cool. Stay inside, Alice. We'll be back. Don't lock the doors on yourself, please. Alright. Luther, do you know anything about auto mechanics? Because I don't. Aren't these smart cars not supposed to break down? What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. Give her your jacket. You, you don't tonight. need it. Then know where we can stay around here, Cap. We could stay in the car, I guess. Oh, I'm moving. Um. Uh, find shelter. How many options do I have? Three. I guess the car would be one of them, right? Yeah. Nope, none that way. Uh, none this way either. What's that sign? Is that an arrow? Let's go check that out. If you can walk any faster, Kara, that would be much appreciated. Is that a house? What is that? It's something. Pirate's Cove Amusement Park. Oh. That's one option. At least she doesn't have to walk. Thank you, Luther. What's gonna go wrong here? We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Well, that's good for us. Uh, are those fake skeletons? Hopefully. What's this? Yeah, I don't think you want to go in there. No. No place we could spend the night. That's not safe. What about in here? Come on, check. Too windy. Did I miss anything? I can't tell. Let's keep going. 
What is this? Ooh, a fortune reader. Read my fortune, lady. Beware! Is that an android? Danger always comes when least expected. Thanks. You know what? I'm expecting it. Hello. Who are you? Uh, are you alive? No, he is not. Okay, then. Wait, can I talk to him? Do I have to get in front of him? Hi. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. There he goes. Glad he had one more outburst, man. Thanks for nothing. Alice, cover your eyes. What is that? Is that a mountain or is that part of the amusement park? Um, skeleton. This place is falling apart. Yeah, that's why it's abandoned. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. Has to be at least one building that isn't complete shit. This looks nice. What's this? Looks safe inside. But... Is there any butts? Can we go in or should I keep searching? There's a lot more I can search. Um, let me quickly check. Just to make sure. That's an octopus. Huh. That's a big octopus. My god. This is a huge park. Oh, okay. I guess I have to go in the building. Do all the footprints stay? Or did they eventually disappear? No, it looks like they all stay. Wow. Never see that. Uh, Luther, you might... I might need your help. Thank you. I'll handle this. Get it, muscles. Damn. He is a beast. He's my beast. Here we go. Sweet. It'll do. Hey, a magazine. Can I read? USS Iowa missing? Oh, it's a vessel. Uh, Canada, where, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Not for us. Discover the landscape. Uh, I don't really care about a missing ship. Is President Warren too close to cyber life? All Android band tipped for music prize. Fan scream, traditionalist weep. Cybersecurity experts warn your Android could be hacked. Okay. Luther, thank you for doing this. I'll make the fire here. I really appreciate That's it. We won't be smoked out. Check gun. There's a gun in there? Hang on. What is this? Oh, the gun we had. Oh shit, those cookies. I'll give the gun cookie. <laughs> I'll give the gun to Alice. There are some cookies left. I'll give her the cookies. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Alice, eat your damn cookie. Fine, I'll check the gun. Wait. Whose gun is that? Where did we get that? We had a shotgun, didn't we? I think we took it. Ooh, nice fire. Alright, uh, anything over here? Yep, yeah, a couple things. Take. Let's 
picture of Pirate's Cove. Okay. Again with this RE9 shit. It's everywhere. Was there an android? Is there still an android here? Uh. Oh, hello. How convenient. Um, I think that's all I can check. Alright, Alice. Time for bed. As soon as we're in Canada, I promise you won't have to do this anymore. Alice? Where'd you go? Oh, God damn it! Alice? Okay? Oh, we're family. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Well, I mean, I'm a robot. I want to be realistic. I oh, don't think we'll ever be shit! Like them, Alice. Wrong option. But maybe uh, we can be happy in a different way. I don't know why, but I thought by realistic I meant like, yeah, we'll be real like them. Once we cross the <laughs> fucking border, idiot. We can start a new life. I wanted to say like, yeah, we will eventually. Damn right. Now go to bed. Eat your cookie. Let's get you to bed. You want a gun? I think we have two now. I was gonna ask, where did I get these clothes from? But I think it's uh Ooh. I think it was from Zalto's place. Sleep tight, Alice. To Alice, I'm her mother. Can you tell me a story, Kara? Sure. There was a man and he died. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. Damn. I should have one for you. Do you want to hear Alice in Wonderland? A unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Okay. This is a story I guess none of those options will work. Uh. Lived alone in a big old house. I'm guessing I'm telling the story of Alice. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but. Shadow. She was different. And that made her very sad. Well, she wasn't different. Then, Her family was. She met a robot. Uh, let's keep pressing X. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... together but they stuck together so they overcame all of them she is unamused a by this story they met a giant oh shit uh i'll say a guardian another robot wait did i press robot or His guardian to become their guardian. okay how does the story end death um i'll do happy Please let that happen. Stories always have happy endings. Yeah, but it's... But real life isn't like that. Well, this ain't real life. It's a story. Time to sleep. Still went up. We have another long day I don't think it'd go any higher. We're already family. If it says daughter, night, my heart will break. Yes. Yes, of course.
Okay, well, she ain't your daughter. Don't kiss her. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. No story from him. You made me do all the hard work. Even though he started the fire, broke in, kicked down the door. I think we're even. <laughs> Alright, Luther. Mano y mano. Let's talk. What the fuck is going on? Just the two of them. It's... Two completely different sized beings. She's very brave. Yeah, does he know anything about this? Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. Oh. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. So wait. What do you mean one day? Didn't you say he was the first one? What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. Where is he? I believe in him. Are you him? He's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Hello. Um, what? Luther, get the gun. Where did they all come from? I gotta protect Alice. Luther, you get the gun, man. Do a man's job. I really would have liked to shoot. And what do you want? We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. Oh, they're all the same we were model. Here before the park closed. Yeah, one of you is we uh weird. You, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. Don't touch her. Seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. And <laughs> now you might not. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. All right, then. Are they going to show us, like, a human sacrifice? So, I'm questioning now, how far out of Detroit are his... Luther and Kara. Kara. Are they like still in the city or are they like long gone? Be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. Na, 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 na. Where am I going? Oh, well, thank you. How does this still work? The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Woo! Guys are pumped. I guess it is like what they're programmed for. Let's go, little girl. Ugh, so heavy. Oh, how's this gonna go bad? It always does. The guy's so happy. It must be weird for Alice having like. 30 people stand around her watching her play on a carousel. Uh. Hi. It's the first time I've seen her smile. Look at that guy in the back jumping. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I don't trust that something's gonna happen. Maybe not. Whew, okay. 
93%? Wow. The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. Wow, that's the first quiet moment the whole entire game. Oh, wow. So you grab a stick or the gun, fire a warning shot. Why couldn't you shoot any of them? That would have been my first instinct if I had the gun. So there are a couple of things I missed in there. And then something... At the... Okay. Uh, world stats. How many finish with this ending? Zero percent. Wow. Losers. Okay, continue. All right, I'm with Connor and Hank. Guess no markets this episode. That's a big phone. Or is that a tablet? I don't know. That's a tablet. Never mind. Hank, listen. About what happened. Is that what we're going to talk about? I mean, I saved your life. I might have shot a deviant. Let's call it even. I've been saying that a lot. Let's call it even. Let's call it even. Title of the episode. Nice view, huh? Aren't you cold, Hank? I used to come here a lot before. Oh, is this going to be a sad story? Buckle in. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. <sighs> come on, Hank. Give me something. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Trust me. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some. Why does his voice sound different? That's the one thing in common. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Doesn't this voice sound different? Something to do with it's like more robotic. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. I didn't know that. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Do you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you there just we go. give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Hank. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. 
Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. And have negative consequences for your personal situation. I don't know what to choose what there. What if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? No, it doesn't sound robotic. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Hank, please put it down. Thank you. Ooh, a new path unlocked. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. I'm pretty sure if Frank hit or Frank Hank hated you there, he would have shot you. Oh man. Okay, that was short. Um Hank left Connor alone. Yeah, a lot of people ended with that. Yeah, a lot of those like answers were just confusing on what it meant. Um Discuss Russian roulette. Alright, uh yeah, that was short. Let's go on to the next one. Marcus might be in this episode after all. Yep, it's Jericho. There's Marcus. Somewhere in this chapter, I gotta say, let's call it even. Marcus don't like that. Revolutionizing Stat Stratford Tower. All right, I'm not in control. I thought I was. For a second, I thought that was the end of the chapter. Yeah, I'm pretty neutral with everyone. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. I thought you said we're not going to ask for anything. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Okay. Here's a question though, I'm the only one with the LED out, no one's going to think I'm an android. Everybody else, they've got one in. Ooh, look at me. So suave. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail, we can't leave anything to chance. Well, it's a good thing we're androids. Okay. What's the plan? We came up with one before I got here, right? That's how it works? Oh boy. Uh, I guess I got no choice but to go up here. Ooh, that's cool. It actually shows you what's what. 47 through 50. That's where I gotta go. 30 mile per hour for elevators? Is that good or is that bad? Like, bad in the way, like, that can be really dangerous or good in the way, like, yeah, that's okay. All right, yeah. Uh, hello. How are you? Hello, sir. You're the same model at the police station. I'm okay, thanks. Oh, I gotta distract the human. <laughs> Androids are too smart. Oh, what'd that say? Smartwatch, okay. Picture of a kid, Emily Wilson, her daughter, uh, some paper, home address, fire safety rating poor. Okay, what else is there to check here? 
Stapler? Oh. Okay, why don't you just leave that out? Parking badge. Uh, okay. What is left? Can, can I scan your face? No. Oh. Ah. Elizabeth Wilson. Okay. Do I go in this way? Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Um. Parking. That's here. She'll go probably down. Sorry to bother. This is Mike from the car park. She doesn't see you. Problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh God. All right. Fine. I'll be right down. Yes. All right. Um. Oh, I do. I request access again. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. What's up with the wrist or the arm? I need your help. It's okay. Calm down. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thank you. Thanks. Why is that blue band just there on her skin? Is it always there? Or is it on, like, clothes? Huh. I thought it was like a piece of clothing. Thank you, Android. Hello. Look at that guy rock out. Alright. Well, I have successfully made it to the elevator. In we go. Ben Marcus never used one of these before. Floor. Okay. What am I doing here? Find. Oh, shit. What'd that say? Find package in men's bathroom. You are here. Men's bathroom. Okay, it's on the complete other side. Wait. Right. I'm surprised androids can't tell, like, other androids, even when they're LEDs out. Like, all the models look the same. I guess Marcus is a prototype. I guess he's, like, the only one. Okay, bathroom. Is this men's? Okay. Uh, does that mean available? Or is everyone taking a shit? Climb up. Retrieve. How did this get in here? What is that? Exit. Oh, it's a uniform. Your chip. People are gonna suspect it's you. Marcus, you idiot. Okay, now what? Uh, I'm just cosplaying. Don't worry about it. I'm really a human. I just like these outfits so much. Oh, what'd that say? Damn it. Uh, find utility android. Okay, he's walking around somewhere. Hi, don't look at my chip. It's totally there. Uh, he was circling around. I think he might be somewhere along here. Oh my god, where is he? He's gone. He vanished into the night. Like Batman. He's a bat droid. Oh my god, where the fuck? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's in there. That's why I can't find him. Excuse me, fellow android servant. Uh, I need some assistance. I need your help. What am I doing that's making them help me? Okay. Am I, like, turning them into deviants somehow? If so, that's pretty cool. Where's the fire escape exactly? If I'm gonna open the fire 
uh, escape for like the other deviants. They're probably gonna be like, what the hell is taking Marcus so long? He's just running around circles. I can't find it. Oh, she's live. Can I knock on the window? Hi, oh, big fan. I thought the fire escape was outside, not a oh, door. That's just a stairwell. Why didn't you say stairwell? Hello, North. Snazzy outfit you got there. Well, at least she has the chips. So people won't question her. Sorry it took so long. I'm gonna find the door. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Excuse me, fellas. Um... Probably something weird. Can I sit on a stool, fall over, and say, Ah, I can't get up. Oh, what is this? Magazine. North, give me a minute. I must read my media. GI Android. Department of Defense poised to order 50,000 Android troopers. Okay. President Warren, a woman in trouble. Yeah. Don't care about politics. Um, okay. I think the vending machine? Hack. Well, something happened. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. You're welcome. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. That probably would have mattered. I can imagine a lot of people not doing that. What am I doing? Okay. Vacuum. Am I going to the top? Laser saw. Oh my god. Huh? Eh. Marcus, I can already tell that's not a perfect circle. Pull. Oh. Maybe it is. Didn't look like it. You know, I think people would probably feel the coldness coming through the door. No fear. Uh, is that a parachute? Nope. Is that a harness? Yep. Alright, go. Oh, this is awesome. Grab that. Alright. Ascend! Alright. This is cool. I like how Connor's the cop, Marcus is like the vigilante. No one can see this, huh? Well, I guess we are pretty much ants on the sides of a billboard. Still, you'd see like a weird black dot. God, look at this snow. This is actually a cool scene. We are very high right now. So, are we going to broadcast something at the top of this? So, like an Android's Arise. Another laser saw thing. Cut. Cut. Make sure you don't cut through your leg. Where did I get this? Cool. Do we just have it on standby? Oh, kick through. Yes! Action, son! Well, I'm surprised it did not break. You okay? Oh, that was easy. Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. 
Call service left. Okay. Call. Hello, friends. Josh, where's your uniform? What is this? Let's is that my face this. cream? Okay. Uh, destroy maintenance door lock. Is this it? That's a bomb. Very quiet for a bomb. I think it was like a thermal charge. Alright, get get to the main floor access or something. Still don't know what the plan is. Alright, here's where shit gets cereal. Deal with guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Why not? Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? I don't want Marcus to kill humans. I said that. Right here. I don't care about North. She's a bitch. What's that doing here? Hey, North. how's it going? Hey. Freeze! What are you doing? FBI. Damn, didn't even use a gun on the first guy. I got a strong arm. Yes, take care of them, my minions. Alright, that was easy. Only two people up here guarding the whole place? Why am I focused on him? Call for access. Hello? Access requested. Okay, hand Josh a gun when he said no killing. Housekeeping. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Oh, there's a lot of people here. All right, order the android operators aside. Here already, it's fine. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Fuck off. Your words will shape the future of our people. Oh, you're being serious. Marcus, your face. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, that's so they can't tell who I am. Ready. We can tell by the eyes though. Okay. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile. Ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed. And we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Um... We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. I don't feel like that's as important. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. 
This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! So is Marcus... Oh, let's go. They probably would have come up anyway. As soon as we... Oh, Simon! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! I gotta get Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! Up, oh, let's go! Come on, come on! God, they are horrible aim. They are stormtroopers. Oh, the blood. You can't track him though, right? I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. They would have been here anyway. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. I know we can't. We have to shoot him. That's God damn it. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. We gotta take him. Even with the body, I... F oh, I have no choice. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Ah! No! <laughs> Uh, I can't. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. I got it. Let's go. Shoot the parachutes. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this. Okay, tower, public opinion skeptical. That's good though. It's getting up there. Get the people to rise up. That's what I'm here for. Have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the Android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most eh, surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the Androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? If I was in this world, and I saw that happen, I'd get rid of my android. Okay. I couldn't kill Simon. I just couldn't. If he wanted it, I would've, but... Wow. The group escaped, but Simon was left behind. What were the other options there? Almost half finished with that. I'm fine with that. 1% didn't jump? Would you just die then? Um, yeah. About half. It was like half for leave Simon or don't. Yeah, that was like just right down the middle. And determinedly. I don't want to go to war with humans as an android. But we need to make our voice heard. This ain't peaceful. Alright? America never has that. Um, how many people let that guy go? That's what I want to see. Yeah, it was about half. Yeah, it was a bunch of mixed match. Wow, not that many people demanded territory. I don't know what that meant. Like, I thought, like, androids could, like, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, a lot of stuff here. For killing them, there was a 
a lot more options. Well, a lot of people didn't do parking. I think that would be the easiest because your car is there. You just go check it out. Okay. Um, yeah, so the only one who doesn't like me that much is North. Fuck North. And public opinion, they're, they're growing on Androids. Okay. Let's start the next one and take or pause when I take control. Connor. Is this with Amanda? Same park. Yep. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to do over down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share. I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.